it is a very uh, interesting and fantastic side dish or a starter so today i'm making uh, this onion bhaji this is how it hello works. everyone welcome back to my channel this is remy from remy's world i hope you all are doing good today's recipe is very special it is air fryer february in collaboration with 14 different youtube channel so i would like to thank you prepper popori for inviting me and be part of air fryer february so 14 different participants are sharing air fryer recipes every day so i will mention their channel names in the description below so you can later refer to it today my recipe is going to be a very special indian popular snack or appetizer that is called onion bhaji so let me show you what i'm going to make today this onion bhaji this is onion bhaji onion fritters or you can call onion pakora it's a very popular indian snack that i'm going to share with you and i'll use a very delicious flavorful spices to it to make it it is super simple and very easy recipe that we can make in our air fryer normally these are so much oily and uh, deep oil fried uh, snack or appetizer it and it is so magical you can see the perfect crispiness perfect golden uh, go this is how it looks actually the golden texture that it has this is the way the onion fritters look and these are air fried i'm going to show you how it looks i'm going to dip this in uh, tomato ketchup or you have a red sauce we can have green chutney this is that is a mint chutney that we normally put and today i'm going to use it with red sauce let me show you i put red sauce to it and we take a bite look how how it looks the, these are perfect crunchy and very good very flavorful and so easy to make it i'll show you how to make this recipe onion bhaji so subscribe to my channel if you're new and click on that bell icon i'm sharing more recipes in this coming week so you do not miss any so let's see how to make onion bhaji in air fryer so this is by basket style air fryer so our onion bhaji is an appetizer that is vegan gluten free slightly spicy it's a very delicious party food and let's see the ingredients used here so here i have taken one big onion you have to thinly slice like this keep it little thick but i'm going to make a half of this slice also because this i have taken one big whole onion and it is quite big in size so i'm going to cut it into halves like this if you are taking small onion you can take two to three onions for the masala that i'm going to share with you today so here onions are finely chopped thinly sliced so here i have taken ginger green chili coriander or cilantro chickpea flour and rice flour and i'm going to take two tablespoon oil here so this is my masala box to flavor our batter i'm taking a spice mix here so this is for the batter we have coriander powder cumin powder turmeric chili powder salt so let's see how to make this batter here i'm taking thinly sliced onion in an empty bowl next take ginger i've taken 1 tablespoon ginger here coarsely crushed half cup cilantro or coriander leaves fresh leaves next for the spices here i'm taking coriander powder you can add 1 teaspoon here half teaspoon turmeric powder next i'm adding kashmiri red chili powder so there is two different red chili powders that we normally use that is the red chili powder is little spicy and this is kashmiri so basically this one we use for nice red color and i'm adding half teaspoon cumin powder so this is uh, fresh coriander seeds that i've added and one cup chickpea flour chickpea flour is a very inexpensive flour that you normally get in all indian grocery store it's very easily available with the name basin i will mention that in the description below so here i have added 1/4 cup of 
rice flour. In case you don't have rice flour, we can substitute it with corn flour also. Corn flour or corn starch. It is basically used to give a nice crispy texture to the bhaji that we are making. Now you have to use your hand to squeeze the onion. So here I'm taking two tablespoon oil. Normally onions are nicely juicy, you know, you don't need to add water to make this uh, onion bhaji. But sometimes we tend to add little water so that we can marinate or batter the onion properly. So here I'm adding green chili, sliced, one green chili which is optional. That's it. I brush the basket before placing the onion bhajis on top of it. So here you can see I am scoop out one, this is the one tablespoon uh, scoop that I have used and all the onion bhajis are nicely layered. It's ready to be air fried. I am going to set this at 350 degree Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. In between, I'll open the basket after like 8 minutes, brush oil once again. We are brushing oil here to have this nice brown color on top of it. So here you can see it's ready. The best onion bhaji are the ones that are served hot. So once they get cold, they lose their crispiness and not that enjoyable. You can always have the batter ready and leave the cooking process for the very last minute. Get the mixture so it drops off the spoon easily. This will ensure crunchy and light bhaji. So these onion bhajis can be served as an appetizer or snack. They are often served with chai. So here I made ginger tea. Nice ginger tea and hot onion bhaji or onion pakoda or onion fritters. Enjoy during this cold winter month or rainy season. Favorite of everyone. Look at the beautiful golden crust this onion bhaji has. These are air fried. Unbelievable. Yes. Even if you do in oil fry, deep fry, you will get the same texture. Perfect, crispy and very delicious. Smells so good. And here I am serving it with tomato ketchup. You can use mint chutney. I will share the recipe soon in my channel so if you are new please subscribe to my channel also click on the bell icon so all the video notification you will get all the participants uh, channel name in the description below please go and check their recipes too see you then bye bye take care